This is the BR2 video, and um, there is a modification that's in the book that's not accurate. This is the picture of the modification that's in the book, and that is really actually the left side number one block. So completely ignore what's labeled the bottom border number two in the book. Bottom border number two is in the Dear Jane book, and this is what the paper pieces are made for, with one exception. This section up here is actually one piece as the tip. So this piece fits for this entire tip section here. And one thing I did not do when I was doing my block prep, my bag sort, is I didn't number them. And so I went back and I numbered them when I put when I did my block prep. And so I labeled these all number ones because they're the same. These are number fours, and this is five and six. These are all number twos, and these are all number threes. And so I've laid those all out here. And so I've got all my number ones, and all my number twos, and all my number threes all laid out in their proper positions. So I'm going to, and then I also had my arrows labeled for a directional fabric. So this fabric is not directional, but I did not know that at the time that I was doing my bag sort. So I'm going to start at the bottom with these, with this whole section. So I'm going to start down here and I'm going to assemble these by sections. So this is going to be a section here. And then this seven and eight with this big triangle is going to be a section. And then this is a section and then this is a section, and then this is all one big tip piece. For my basting, I am going to try to keep my tags on the outside of my blocks. We'll see how that goes. So I'm going to see, I'll sit here and look at these to see if basting them in a specific way would be better. But with all these triangles, is we're going to have points that are going to be contra that are going to be interfering with others. So I will start by putting these triangles together somehow, probably in a row here. We'll see how this goes. So, but I will start with this bottom section. All right, so I've basted some of my pieces down here. And so what I've done is I've done this bottom section first and then the sides. So then my tags will go out to the outer portion of my triangle. The middle ones, I've done this this side, this side, and then this side last so that it won't be conflicting with these bottom tags. So I'm going to assemble these with these going in a row first. So these five, one, two, three, four, five, right here, and then these three, one, two, three, and then I will um, connect these and then put on these side pieces to finish off that entire section. So I will stitch them and I will base them as I'm stitching them. So I will stitch these together and then this, and then I will base this and make, you know, and so on and so forth so I can re so I can make sure that I've got the right pieces in the right location. All right, so I've got the bottom row together. These this is the I didn't take the tape off of this piece, but this piece is ready to be taken off. So I've got these triangles put together, and then the next three are these three right here. So I will assemble these and then attach them to this section. Well, I got the other row complete. So I'm going to take both of these sections and connect them, and then I will put these sides on and I will have a whole bottom section completed. So let me get these together and then I will work on the basting for these. So I've connected these two rows. I've got that whole section together and I'm going to connect these. And I've basted this one side, two side. This side was last so that my tag will be going away from the center mass. So once I get this connected, I should have all of this first section completed. So I got one of the sides on, and now I'm just going to attach the other, and my bottom section will be complete. 
So now I got this bottom section completed and I'm going to work on this next section which is just these three pieces. I'm going to baste this first and then these two so that my tags are on the bottom. And then I'm going to baste these outside edges before I do this one so my tags go up on both of these sides. So now I've got two of these three pieces connected. I'll just put this together and that will finish off my second section here and I will connect it to my first section. So now I have my first two sections of this triangle done and I will connect them and we will have about half of the triangle completely done. All right, so I got my bottom two portions assembled completely and then I'm gonna work on my next section which includes this bit of pieces which is this whole section right here. So I got the pieces for my third section all basted and I basted it in the same way I did as the first section with this one going down first and these two so my tags are pointing down to the other section and then this one I did these two sides first and this one last so that it doesn't conflict with this triangle and then the outside sections I've done the did the outside pieces first with this long piece last so my tags are going away from my center triangles so I will assemble this with these three in a line and then this one and then attach these two pieces so I've got this bottom section put together with all three of these I'm going to attach this top triangle to finish off that part and then I'll attach the two sides and that would be this section right here. So I've got my third section. I just got one more piece to attach. And then it'll be ready to attach to the other two. So this would be again this section. And then I'll be ready to go to my fourth section. Now I'm about to tape my third section to my bottom two. And stitch it. So I've just got seven pieces left. I've got my three sections put together. This is my next section of these six pieces which will be these pieces right here and this whole section is then changed into this one tip. So I will do again I'll do these three plus and then put this one on top and then add these two pieces. My basting again will be the same as before. Do this one first and then these two so my tags sit on the bottom for these two and these and this one and then basting for the white one will be these two first this one last so that it doesn't conflict with these tags and then these two will be first this one last so the tags go away from these other pieces got the triangles of my fourth section all assembled. I just got to put the sides on and then the tip on. I will assemble all of this before I connect it to the rest of my triangle. So I've got my tip attached to my topmost section and I'm going to attach it to the rest of my triangle and we should have a completed project at that point. So my triangle is done and I did check my angle of my triangle and it is a bit off from where it should be but once I force it back into place and my papers come out when I get it in place it should ease it in after it gets quilted but it is a little off so I'm not going to get too bent out of shape about that but now I have a completed BR2 triangle.